It's a weeping willow. That one right there. Let me show you better. You didn't see that. Weeping willow. You're his sheep. And you're you're a blessing. And Jesus loves you. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you scripture. Mountains are, you can't see them today because it's, it's foggy, I don't know. But you can usually see the mountains over those treetops over here. It's so beautiful. God put me in an amazing place with my awesome best friend to just, just really, uh, let him work on some soul healing, man. Some TLC, man. Okay, let me share it. This with you guys this morning, especially you, Jessica. I want you to know that you are so loved by the Lord. He loves you, and he hurts with us. He weeps with us. I feel like God put that weeping willow there just for me. I feel like he's like... I'm weeping with you. <laughs> so I want to read this. Jesus wept. When Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit. He groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And then he um, raised Lazarus from the dead. But, like, Jesus wept, man. <sighs> he understands that we don't you know, we go through really, really, really hard things, man. He gets that. And he loves you, and he's with you in it. And he'll he'll weep with you in it. And, and you will see, even though it's hard now, all these tribulations and trials that we go through that are difficult, and the things that we go through that are unfair... And they hurt. God doesn't waste it. He will do a he will flip a Romans eight twenty eight. All things work together for the good of them that are called. Let's look it up. There we go. Okay. And we know but all things, and we are more than conquerors, by the way, work together for the good of them that love God and that are who are called according to his purpose. For And also, this these things that we go through are actually conforming us. Look, for whom he did for know, he also did predestine. To be conformed to the image of his son in character. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. You know, we go through trials and tribulations, but it's good for us. I mean, it really is. It develops character and perseverance and faith and 
you know, it's just we have a bunch of gunky stuff inside of us, spiritually and pride, and all these different things that just, you know, there really is no other way to get it out, out of us to conform us to the image of Christ than trials and tribulations. I mean, God is a, an amazing potter. He knows what he's doing. And even on our toughest days, he's with us in the fire, you know. There's a great song by Lacey Sturm. It's called um, You're Not Alone. And she took it from the Rick Pino song, You're Not Alone. You can go check it out on YouTube. Or when you're going through a really hard time, look up um, on YouTube Scripture Lullabies. And listen to that. It's scriptures that are sung because sometimes it's just too damn hard to read the word. But you can always listen to them being sung to you and it'll be very soothing to your soul while you're crying and processing those emotions with God. Okay. Jesus weeps with me, okay? He's with you in the storm. He's with you in the pain. He's with you in the confusion. Just lean on him. He's that rock. He's that firm foundation. He's the anchor to your soul. Find a scripture that's comforting to you and hold on to that when you are going through that confusion and just pain and you just don't even know what to do. Like, hold on, hold on to a, a, a couple of scriptures. It will, it will be an anchor to your soul. And God will um, reveal the scripture to you deeply. You're loved. He loves you so much. So, 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 so. You'll get through it. He will get you through it. He has always gotten me through all of my extreme fires. And he will continue to. And he will get you through yours too. He's a good father. Let me show you another scripture. Therefore I say unto you. And this is in Matthew. Matthew chapter 6 verse 25. Therefore I say unto you. Take no thought for your life. What you shall eat or what you shall drink. Nor for your bodies, what ye shall put on, is not the life more than the meat and the body than the remnant, the clothing? Look at the bowels or the birds of the air. I was trying to record a bird, but they're all like being protected by God somewhere. Behold, the birds of the air. For they sow not, they don't put seeds in the ground to get a harvest, neither do they reap, you know, go and pick, you know, up all their grapes or whatever they planted, nor gather into barns. Yet, your heavenly Father feedeth them. See, they don't even have a house, the birds where they can have a refrigerator and food at. See, they don't gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one minute unto his life? Or, I don't really know what that cubic unto statue means, but. And why take ye thought for clothing or remnant? Consider the lilies or the flowers of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. They don't work, but they're growing. They don't do anything, but they're growing and they're clothed. Yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed or dressed like one of these. 
If God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast in the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? So have faith. God is going to take care of you. He'll clothe you. If he clothes the grass, the flowers of the field, he'll clothe you. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek for ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. For the morrow, tomorrow shall take or morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Only worry about today. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. The Lord weeps with you. The Lord weeps with you.